The following documentary contains the recorded events of how John Johnson, actor, director, cameraman, B-movie filmmaker, the king of cheese, and self-proclaimed ladies man lost his sanity while filming the Creightonville Terror. The location is Luray, Virginia. The people of this peaceful town were in no way prepared, nor did they deserve the cheese, the bathroom humor, or the complete lack of human decency that was about to befall them. Like a fox sneaking in the night, Darkstone Entertainment set up camp in their family-loving community. The first sign of trouble occurred when John insisted on wearing a violet knit doll's dress as a hat to keep the suits at Lionsgate from reading his thoughts. Paranoia began to consume John's daily routine. He was convinced that neighboring studios had spies on set and their only goal was to rob his collection of used celebrity underwear. Later, statements caught on tape revealed John's unnatural affinity for dolls. I fell asleep on the bed in the room with the dolls. As time on the set progressed, unsettling clues to an inappropriate relationship between John and director Matt Cloud reared their ugly head. John's patience with uncooperative crew members can be summed up with the following statement he often shouted on set, quote, the beatings will continue until morale improves. After being visited in a dream by game show host Alex Trebek, John became so convinced the house was haunted he refused to step foot inside. He filmed the remainder of the movie outside through a window. After witnessing this traumatic downfall of John Johnson, we decided to travel to Charlottesville, Virginia to investigate the home office of Darkstone Entertainment. We checked their equipment for gamma ray emissions and radon gas leaks. Our investigation left no prop or action figure unturned. We did discover some quite disturbing anti-government alien conspiracy propaganda. After a thorough check of Darkstone's video archives, we found the following file footage of John Johnson's demented fascination with pink castles and purple dinosaurs. Further investigation revealed John's secret alias that he uses to reap untold doom. After careful consideration and hours of exploring alternative solutions, we decided that it was best to remove John from the set without his knowledge. We called in the same team of experts that faked the moon landing to create an exact duplicate of the Crichtonville set. To this day, John is unaware that he is not the one who finished filming the Crichtonville Terror. This isn't a story with a happy ending. The real John Johnson hasn't been seen since filming ended for the Creightonville Terror. The man that you now know as John Johnson is suspected of being the winner of the John Johnson Lookalike Contest that was held in Prague in 2005. The winner mysteriously disappeared shortly after the contest.